if you look at our login uh, page that is if you go to resources views and inside auth controller you see the login page you see that uh, the laravel generator re redesigned the login page and added um, a header to it so there is a sort of conflict so um, because the logged in page is different from the logged out page look at if we log out right now click on sign up you will see that the design if i click on login the design is different it doesn't have this top bar so we need to create a template for this or a layout for it so what i'll do is to head over to my layout folder right click create a new layout file i'll call it logged out logged out dot blade that's php so that all our logged out pages will use this layout file so logged out dot blade it's empty we will construct this page from this login page so what i'll do is to come to this login page scroll down to where the box the login box begins see the login box begins from here and ends here so what i'll do is to copy from the top of the login box everything on top copy it out paste in this page get back to the login page and then put at layout just the way it is done here extends layout extends oops what did i just do copy paste really at extends i don't know why my keyboard isn't copying it layout folder dot logged out templates so that is it then the section we are going to work on there is the the section will be the um content let's just call it content you can call yours anything section end section then we copy the rest of the item here and paste it on the same logged out page logged out blade we paste it here then inside here we yield section at yield content so that whenever somebody calls on this template it will insert whatever content of that page here very easily so we need to go back to our login page to make sure that this works we need to refresh this it should still stay the same yes perfectly works perfectly right now all right so the next thing we're gonna do is after login i'm clicking on login now after login the the profile picture does not show so we have to log in and fix see the profile picture does not show so we have to go to this template and fix it, fix the look profile picture the template is in layout app dot blade we're looking for the profile picture see there's a picture here we want to use a certain we're gonna do this this is how you add a variable so we're gonna go to the um when when the user logs in in laravel laravel saves all the user's details like laravel goes to the database fetches all the fields in the user's table and saves it in a section in a session uh, like i mean session like this that's php session so as sex that session you just do auth user you write it exactly the way i'm writing it then you put this arrow then you mention the field in the user's table that you want to access in this case we want to access the facebook profile so that's the url we want to ac access so we're trying to pull the the, the face is it face the avatar i think it's the avatar that we're looking for avatar just to be sure um i don't even know whether this is the spelling we're trying to pull the field that has the 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 link to the person's facebook profile picture to get that i'm just going to go to the database migrations look for users migration and look for okay avatar it's avatar we're looking for avatar so we got it right so this avatar contains the url of the person's facebook profile picture so we come and replace it with what we have here too 
and I think there's another place, one more place that this is. I can't find it, so we'll paste it here too. So we have it in two places. Uh, let's go and check. Refresh. Funny enough, it didn't show. So let's go check out why it didn't show. So we have to check our database. So um, we've logged into a database and I clicked on users table and there is only one user so far, which is the user we're looking for. Now the problem is there is an avatar field and it actually contains link to the image. Let's see why it's not showing. Oh, I think, let's just copy it first. Uh, let's test whether the picture will show if we visit directly. The picture shows, but somehow our image tag is not seeing it as a picture. So um, let us try to adjust and output this. Let's go and debug what is happening. So here, right click. SRC, um, which means it didn't work didn't work because I spelt it wrongly avatar I don't know what I was thinking when I was spe spelling avatar that wrongly uh, there's another place that was spelt it wrongly avatar is AR so let's go check what we have refresh the picture should show now so it works now see nice cool picture if i click on this i see nice cool profile picture so the next thing we really want to take care of is this other profile picture all right this should be in the menu so if i click here i'll copy what i have copy i'll go to the menu i don't know which one it is sidebar okay look at the sidebar it has a person's profile picture we're going to remove it and put a menu i put this we're good I don't know about menu bar, it doesn't contain anything. Alright, so we're good. If we come here and refresh, there should be a profile picture here too. So this works very well now. So I hope you understand what we did. Because this person logged in from Facebook, Facebook sent us their profile picture. And um, if they go to Facebook, okay, since Facebook sent us their profile picture, uh, we just um, inserted it here directly. The person didn't need to update their profile picture and all whatnot. So it's a very smart way of adding people's profile picture. So if they change it in Facebook, there's a possibility that it will change here too. You understand? All right, so in the next video, we'll start working out the, each of the, uh, the, the tables we have in our database. We'll go to our database now. We'll see that we have these tables. So we take each table and work out the category, work out the model, the views, the controllers, and the routes um, automatically, all right? See you in the next.